Hey there, how's it going today? In today's video, I'm gonna be discussing a topic that might be all too familiar to people who shop online. What do you do when something that you bought doesn't arrive? Like, how do you get your money back? Now, as a site that's popular for fishing stuff, clothing, electronics, all kinds of inexpensive goods, primarily from China, AliExpress has thousands, hundreds of thousands probably, of satisfied customers across the world. However, sometimes those orders just don't go as planned, and that's what I wanna talk about today. How do you go about rectifying that situation? How do you get your money back, or how do you get the item replaced? You know, it can be frustrating. In my case, I had ordered the Kestrel Elite fishing reel from Cast King, and I was pretty excited to get it, and it just, it, it kept not showing up. It was delayed, it wasn't moving. It shipped late. I, every step of this process was frustrating. That's why I'm doing this video, so I can sort of walk you through what I did to make sure that there was a good outcome. And I'm also going to talk about whether it is safe to shop on AliExpress or not, uh, because I've, I've done a lot of transactions on AliExpress at this point. So if you've ever had a similar experience or you're just looking for information on how to handle this situation, stay tuned. Okay, so let's talk about the Cast King Kestrel Elite. I bought this reel right at the beginning of the 1111 sale on November 1st. I got it for less than 150 bucks and I was thrilled with it. You know, and for me, I sort of felt like that's about where the Kestrel Elite should have been priced originally. When it launched, I don't remember what it was, but I feel like it was 279 when it was on pre-order back in the summer. And I almost did it, but I, I decided not to. I mean, I honestly, I bought the Gekabijan instead of that uh, because it, it was close enough in price and I just couldn't see spending that for Cast King because they, they just didn't have the track record to warrant that kind of price. But at 150 bucks I'm like okay this is this is a nice sort of mid-range reel that's sort of in between where I've been spending so at that price I pulled the trigger. It was actually on their on the I think it was on the AliExpress Plus and it was supposed to ship within seven days have fast delivery like this was the thing that was supposed to get here first. It shipped late. Uh, it, it was actually one of the last things to ship. I bought a lot in the 1111 sale, including the Cast King Valiant Eagle, which I think I bought on the 9th uh, of November, and it shipped before the Kestrel Elite. And there was a Cast King Rod. It shipped much earlier. In fact, it arrived, I think, before the, the Kestrel Elite even hit the United States. You know, right off the bat, I was like, okay, well, I, I'm not loving this experience. This was supposed to be the Expedited Plus experience. Uh, for for the Kestrel Elite and, and I didn't get that. By November 19th I noticed that it was in the United States but it hadn't made it to customs yet. It, it says it was in New York uh, and uh, it, it hadn't actually been forwarded on to customs yet. And then by Thanksgiving about a week later I think everything had been delivered that I ordered on the 11 and 11 sale except for the Ke Kestrel Elite which was supposed to be the thing that shipped the fastest. And so I'm like okay well this is a little weird and it was still in the same spot. The tracking had not updated since the 19th. Finally, on December 7th, I'm like, where is this reel? And I looked and it still hadn't been updated. And, and that's sort of where I started the, the conversation uh, with, with Cast King. And so I, I reached out to them and said, hey, I, I just wonder if I could get a, a replacement shipped. This order appears to be lost in transit. Their response was, hey, the shipping info might be delayed. It's still in transit. Uh, and you can see here in, in the, the chat, it says, if you don't receive it when the protection time ends, we can resend or refund. So this was sort of like the, probably the red flag that triggered a lot of stuff for me, but this could just be, you know, a, a, a translation error. But to me, when you tell me that if, if this, if you don't get it by the time the protection time ends, then, then we'll take care of it. Well, AliExpress, basically, if you don't take action on an order that's lost or you don't confirm that you've gotten something, they'll automatically close the order. And so to me, that, that goes like at the, at the same time. So what it sounded like they wanted me to do was, well, wait until the auto complete happens, right? Until your protection time ends, and then we'll take care of it. Uh, and it says, please do not worry and be patient to wait. I, I'm like, well, wait a minute, why would I wait until after the protection time ends? This is why I'm trying to be proactive right now. This It hasn't moved in almost three weeks. It's just sat in one spot. Obviously, there's a problem, right? It's everything else made it to me within three weeks. And this has been sitting in New York, not making it to customs for three weeks. And then they also said, well, you can also contact the postal service to, to check on the status of your order. 
and my response to them was, it hasn't made it to U.S. Customs yet, so USPS has no ability to track, right? It's still in the China shipping. It hasn't made it over to the Postal Service, so there is no Postal Service ability to track it. And so they said, okay, then can you kindly wait a few more days? It is still in processing time, which it was, but... The, it, I go back to that protection time. And again, this could be semantics. It could be translation error. But to me, it sounds like they want me to wait until my protection on this order is over and then trust them that they're going to take care of it. So then I said, okay, you know what? I am going to submit a request for a refund on this. And so on December 9th, I submitted a request to AliExpress and basically asked for a refund. And it's wants to know why. And I said, the seller asked me to wait until after the protection time or contact USPS, which doesn't have the item yet. Multiple contact with the seller ends with wait until after the protection time, which sounds like to me, keep waiting so we don't have to refund you. Uh, and I was just being honest. And so it says the refund amount here was $157.99, but I actually only paid, I actually only paid $149.48 after the discounts. And, and, you know, so, but it's just the way the system works. I submitted the request, then they come back and say, hey, we need more info. Essentially what they told me was, it's still within the normal shipping time, so we want you to wait 10 days. I'm like, okay, so I'm going to wait until December 19th. Uh, meanwhile, like I've started recording videos on all the other stuff that I've got, and I've done, I've probably done almost all the unboxings, uh, except for one, one rod at this point. And I'm like, okay, fine, I'll wait until essentially Christmas week. So the December 19th comes and, and goes, and then they basically give me the same thing. Well, we need a little bit more time to look into this. It's still within the delivery date, which really it was right at the end of, of the delivery date at that time. And they said, well, we want you to wait until the 31st. And then when December 31st happened, it's still in the same spot. Now, I can't see tracking anymore. I can't figure out any way to, to see if it's there. I guess theoretically there's a chance that this reel still shows up at my house, uh, but not likely. So what they did was on December 31st, they... they evidently looked at it and said, yeah, this thing is still sitting in the same spot. It's been there now for 43 days, I, I think was, is basically what that would work out to. You know, for, 42 or 43 days, it's been sitting in the same spot with no movement. It never made it to U.S. Customs. They did refund my money, all right? And so I just want to say that I haven't had any issues. I mean, I've had some delays. Uh, I had one lore that came in, and it looked like it wasn't finished, and so that was just a manufacturing defect. But I really have had no issues with AliExpress and ordering from them at all. This one to me was a little extra frustrating just because it was the most expensive order I'd ever placed with AliExpress, at least on a single item. It was also supposed to be in their, I think they call it the Plus program, which this is supposed to be shipped fast. This is supposed to be delivered fast. I was supposed to have it within seven days is, is how it was advertised. Uh, you know, and then the last part was, it was a smoking deal. Like, I got a phenomenal deal on that reel. Now, in hindsight, part of why I asked for the refund instead of asking for a replacement was, uh, I, I think it was the, the Bait Finesse channel had done a, a breakdown of the, the Kestrel Elite and the Valiant Eagle 2. And essentially, they're almost the same reel. And so I paid, I think, 51 or $55 for the Valiant Eagle 2. This was 150, you know, for essentially four extra bearings and a, a different body material. I think the the Kestrel Elite is magnesium, where the Valiant Eagle is carbon. It just it wasn't worth the price. But there was also the side of it, it's like it just sort of, you know, it soured me a little bit that that you know I bought direct from Cast King. This wasn't like a third party seller. This was from the Cast King official store, and they basically didn't seem worried at all that this thing that should have been to me before Thanksgiving, you know, come mid-December, it's still just sitting there. Like, oh, no, it's fine. Don't just, just wait until your protection time ends. Again, I to me, that just sounds bad. So here's the thing, though. If you have something that gets lost in shipping, from my experience, AliExpress is going to take care of it. So it is safe to order from there. But I will say, the, the, the last thing I have to open from that is the is the Cast King Centron rod. And I, I'm... I'm I, you know, what, I'll have to see how it is. It may have some quality control issues as well. And if that's the case, I, I might be done with, with Cast King in general. But as far as AliExpress goes, I think 100% it, 
it's safe to order from there. You just have to know going in that it's going to take you a while to get whatever it is that you order. It's not like going to the, the local tackle shop. It's not like ordering from Amazon for sure, uh, even though I think they try to, to build themselves as sort of like the Amazon of China. It takes some patience. But in return, what you get is you get really good deals on stuff. So it's still worth it. I don't think the Kestrel Elite is worth it, and that's why I'm, I'm not going to bother doing a review on it. What I am going to do is I'm going to do a video on the 10 reels that I would buy before I bought the Kestro Elite. You know, it's still being marketed out there. I just, I really can't support the, the reel in general just because of how similar it is to a reel that costs one, less than one quarter of the price. But also just the experience and the way Cast King handled that. I, there are so many other reels that I would buy first. So if you want to know what those are, check out this video right here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.